hear the story of the hero taxi driver, Mr. Ime Oswa, who in an uncommon display of honesty found and returned a huge sash of money in 2007? Well, he is about to be conferred with the award of member of the Order of the Federal Republic, MFR, seven years after he returned $120,000 forgotten in his airport shuttle cab by a passenger in 2007. Since the incident, some private and public organizations, including the Security and Exchange Commission, SEE, have recognized him with awards and monetary rewards. But until the announcement, national honors had eluded him. His action is no mean fit considering his circumstances then and now. But we're glad to note that Mr. Ime Uswa, who deserves to be, will finally get his day in the sun. There have been different speculations regarding the future of the Super Eagle coach and the technical advisor Stephen Keshi with the national team. We've shared the ups and downs, maybes, hopefullys, but this is one situation that refuses to be resolved. For those of us who hoped that Mr. Keshi's presence at the Nations Cup qualifiers meant that the end was in sight, he wants to set that record straight. In a phone interview, Mr. Keshi has clearly stated that no negotiations regarding his salary have been concluded and he is yet to accept any terms. The coach added that the delay in negotiation may have a lot to do with the current issues with the Nigerian Football Federation. Now, Nigeria has a title to defend at AFCON and so we know we're not asking for too much when we think that perhaps this matter has gone on for far longer than necessary. What do you think guys? Share your thoughts on our platforms using the hashtag SayIt. Over 550 celebrities, volunteers and children participated in the Slum to School African Charities fundraising walk that held on Saturday, September 13, 2014. The purpose of this work was to support the education of 1,000 children living in slums and remote communities in Nigeria and to build mentorship hubs to facilitate community education and development. The work was a huge success and attracted several personalities including Mona Lisa Chinda, A.Y. Maku, Julius Agu, Timi Dakolo, Ibinabo Fibrasima, Shegu Arize, and many others. Slum to School Africa, spearheaded by Otto Oradam, is one of Africa's most vibrant volunteer-driven charity organizations and over the years have helped disadvantaged children and youths in slums and remote communities gain access to education, medical support and empowerment. We say a big well done to people who take out time out of their lives to help other human beings. It takes true humanity, sacrifice and passion. <laughs> It's a thanks to the bravery and smarts of three women that four rhinosaur poachers were arrested in South Africa. Heli Dell was rhino watching with her two friends Yolanda Lacan and Delis Powell on a trip to the trigger. However, the women became suspicious when they saw a vehicle with four male occupants who seemed overly interested in the animal. They followed the men, took down the vehicle license and reported the suspicious activities to the authorities who got into the issue immediately and declared that the men were definitely rhino poachers. According to the reports, the two men in the car were held at gunpoint by officers who succeeded in getting them to reveal the location of the other two poachers. Haley added that she and her friends feel really, really privileged. There was three of us girls and we felt strong and very, very brave. It must have taken a lot of guts to do that, but it's awesome to see these brave women going out of their way to do something that they really didn't need to do and in the process help to make a difference. <laughs> 